Hello and welcome to Tony's Cool Tools. If it's your first time, thanks for stopping. If you haven't guessed, today we're going to be talking about chainsaw holders or chainsaw vices. Why are they so good? We're going to be covering several different saw vices. One is the stump vise, the jaw horse, the chain meister system, a standard vise, and then a homemade version. Probably the most popular chainsaw vise is the standard vise that you have in your garage or pole barn. It allows you to have your hands free, which is the key, because then you can take and use, if you're using a file, whether it's with a guide or by hand, you can have two hands on the chain or you can have two hands on the file and feel the metal coming off. So on this one here, this happens to be a machinist vise. I can rotate this either way to make it more, more accessible for me to get at it. So in here, I can get in the teeth and really work it. And you can feel it taking the metal off. I try to protect this by putting either tape or rubber on here so I'm not tearing up the bars. If I'm using a rotary tool, I can reverse it. Instead of standing on the motor side, I can go to the blade side and come in here and have a lot of visibility and control with the Dremel tool here. And then just keep moving this back and forth and working the chain or sharpening the chain as needed. Though I don't use it often, the chainsaw stump vise is a good accessory to have in the field when you need to dress your chainsaw after a tank of gas. It frees your hands up so that you can get in here and actually sharpen the blades. Another option for a chainsaw vise is the jaw horse. Usually you find these at construction site. You can hold two by fours, four by fours, whatever. This, this um, jaw opens up all the way here and really holds something once you put it in. And the nice thing I like about it is, once again, my hands are free to be able to work the Dremel tool here. The only problem that I find with this is I'm bending over a lot and that's not very comfortable, but it will do in a pinch. So this is just another option for you. Without a doubt, the Chainmeister holding system is by far my most favorite way to hold a chainsaw. This is the way I have my sharpening station. I have my Chainmeister uh, vise here. I have my gloves, glasses, everything necessary for sharpening. And I, use, I usually have two or so Dremels here with different size bits so I don't have to move around much. I have my magnifying glass that has the light on it. Makes life a lot easier. At the last two firewood frenzies and on my channel, probably the number one question I have is what type of vice am I using and where can you get it? As I've mentioned, this is called the Chain Meister vice system and I'll have a link at the end in the info section where you can get it. I purchased this about eight or ten years ago while watching a YouTube video. A gentleman who was a landscaper, CT Scaper is the name of the channel, had this and I thought, man, that's pretty cool. And it definitely has worked for the last ten years and made me a better sharpener. The current cost on these are $28. That is pretty pricey. But when you look at the material that this is made up and how they do it, it's pretty neat in that it is all steel, it's powder coated, and it's set up so that the vise here holds any size bar. I've enhanced this a little bit by putting in these vacuum plugs that I've had from the automotive industry and what it does is I put it over the bolt 
or the screw so it doesn't mar up my bar because the first thing that happens is it starts rusting on it. You may not have to do that, but I figured why not? I have the vacuum tubes, just do it. Here's what I'm talking about, this little rubber plug here. I take this, cut it down, just push it over, and now when I am tighten up the bar, it doesn't, as I say, mar the bar, the chainsaw bar. Here is how it looks with a chainsaw on it. A view of how it looks when I'm sharpening. So you don't want to spend more than $50 on a saw vise. Let me show you a way you can do it cheaper. All you need is either one of these or one of these. Let me show you what you can do with them. Voila! By taking one of these or one of these and either doing it yourself or having your friend weld it to a piece of plate here, you can now have a vise for a very minimal amount of dollars. This Chinese vise, I probably picked it up somewhere, but it even has the price on it, 79 cents. So all I would need is a piece of metal, have it welded right on, and now you have a vise. Now the one thing I will say is that when you make this, it works for the small saws, but you will have to weld a piece in here that is probably a quarter of an inch so that the saw moves over a little bit. Now, this particular one was given to me as a gift from my former best friend, friend Chris, at the woodyard. He and his brother, Kenny, had nothing to do one night while they were beaver trapping, so I had shown them this idea before, and Kenny went ahead and welded this. And I'm the recipient of another saw vise that I can take with me as a portable. Like your cell phone, I never leave home without my sharpening kit, and this is how I travel with it. Let me show you how it is in the back of my truck. As I mentioned, I always bring the chainsaw vise with me. Similar to a steel used by a butcher to tune up his edge, the same thing holds true with your saw. After a tank of gas, even though I have two and three saws out there, sometimes I like using just one uh, because it may have a longer blade or for whatever reason, um, I like to tune it up after a full tank of gas. And two things that it does, makes the saw cut faster and last longer, as long as I don't hit any rocks or metal. And though I do use a file, in the field I prefer using the Dremel tool, the cordless one. Works very quickly and all I'm doing is putting a taking that rounded edge off after a tank of gas and just tuning it up a little bit so it's cat claw sharp. I hope you found this video informative and if so, if you could please like, share and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. And remember, pass it forward, make the world a better place. And don't be a tool, watch Tony's Cool Tool. Until next time, stay safe, see you later, bye.